In this video, I want to talk about how my Yamaha XT225 started using oil this past summer, and it had me really concerned. I have already talked about this in my one year review and ride video on the XT225, and I'll link to that up here in case you'd like to watch that whole review video. But uh, for everyone else, I thought it would be good to create this standalone video on how it was burning oil, just as a quick reference. So, flashback to this past summer, I was concerned the bike was using oil, and let's take a look back. On my last couple rides on the XT225, I noticed that it was using a lot of oil, which really had me concerned. And then I read about a potential simple fix, uh, and I'm going to show you I think that's what's wrong with the bike. And what I discovered is that if the breather hose from the head that snakes around to the air box to let the top end breathe. If that gets kinked or pinched, it can cause uh, oil usage. And I see that it's kind of pinched right there between the petcock and the carburetor. So I'm gonna see if I can free that up and then see if that makes any difference. Here's hoping it's something that simple. Okay, with the tank off, some good news, bad news. Um, I did see that this was pinched a bit. And when I look at the valve covers, I see quite a bit of oil around them. So, I'm thinking there was some real pressure built up. I hope there was no damage as a result, but I can see that oil was being forced out of the valve covers, so let's clean it all up. I'll adjust the valves while I'm at it. And uh, hopefully this fixes the problem without any real damage. With the valve covers removed, I can see that the gasket it's perfectly flat against the surface. There was some blow-by going on here for sure. I guess it's better that the gasket fail and the oil leak than uh, any consequences from worse internal pressure. I don't know. But, gotta get these gaskets replaced, which means checking with the local Yamaha shop and hopefully I can get that done. I'll adjust the valves while I'm at it and button the whole thing up. Make sure that uh, that line there is not kinked this time or pinched flat. And uh, hopefully we get back to the super indestructible XT225 reliability. And thankfully, all it took to fix the problem was replacing those O-rings on the valve covers. Apparently, that's a known issue. Those do flatten out. So I got the two O-rings for the XT225. My Yamaha SR250 project bike actually used the exact same O-rings, so I replaced them at the same time also. And then on the breather hose, I shortened it in the front and the back just half an inch so it would pull a little tighter and it would hang a little bit lower and it wouldn't get caught up between the petcock and the carburetor anymore. Do notice that that breather hose is bent in a very particular way by Yamaha so uh, when you refit it make sure that that doesn't kink on you. And I realized after all of this that just a couple of weeks before the problem began, I had had the seat and the tank off of the motorcycle doing some routine maintenance. And when I reassembled the whole thing, that's when I pinched that breather hose to cause the problem in the first place. Luckily, it hasn't used a drop of oil since uh, fixing the breather hose kink and replacing those O-rings. And I love it when a solution is this simple. And I hope if you're encountering this kind of thing that this is a help to you. If you've liked this video, if it's been a help, please do give it a like. And I hope that you'll subscribe for future riding and wrenching videos here on Jimmy T Moto. Thanks so much for watching. I do appreciate it and hope to see you on the road someday. And please do ride safe.